Welcome to our lecture online, and now let's actually calculate the cross product of two real vectors. We have A and B defined in terms of their x, y, and z components. So the general format of a cross product now turns into something like this. And so this now becomes the following. This is equal to the i unit vector times, again, you get rid of this column and this row, which leaves you these four elements. You multiply these two together and subtract when you multiply these two together. So this becomes minus 2 times a minus 4, subtract from that when you multiply these two together, which is a minus 5 times a positive 4. There you go. So that gives you the first component of the cross product. Now you go minus j. Remember, this is plus, minus, plus. You alternate signs in front of the unit vector. So minus j times. You get rid of this column and this row, like this. That gives you these four elements. So you multiply these two together and subtract when you multiply those two together. That gives you 3 times a negative 4 minus a negative 5 times a positive 1. That gives you the second component of the cross product. Now for the third component, you get plus k times, so get rid of this column and this row, that leaves you these four elements, so it's 3 times 4, minus, when you multiply these two together, which is a minus 2 times a 1. And there's your third component. Now all you have to do is simplify these, so let's do that. So this is equal to i times minus 2 times minus 4 is a positive 8, that's a minus 20, but times a minus, that's plus 20. Minus j times 3 times a negative 4 is a minus 12. Minus times a minus becomes a plus 5. And here we have plus k. And 3 times 4, which is 12. Minus a minus 2, that becomes a plus 2. So here we have, this is equal to 8 plus 20, that's 28 in the i direction. That's minus 12 plus 5, that's a minus 7, but with the minus here becomes a plus 7 in the j direction. And 12 plus 2, that's plus 14 in the k direction. So here we have a cross b, which is a, another vector, a third vector, call it vector c, which is now defined by these three components, 28i plus 7, 7j plus 14k. And that's how we find the cross product of two vectors.